WROI News, connecting you with your local, statewide, and national leaders. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's time now to take a look at your local news. News today is brought to you by Rochester Greenhouse. Send a fresh cut flower bouquet today and make someone's day. And by Ulrich Heating and Cooling for reasonable prices, experience, and excellent customer service. Call them today at 574-223-6307 or on their cell at 574-727-0005. The rain has dropped our temperature down to 73 degrees. We are currently under mostly cloudy skies as we have more rain moving into the area. We'll have a look at your full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. The Fulton County Commissioners met and discussed scoring for county projects eligible for federal aid. Commission member Steve Metzger was our guest on WROI and explained. We have two federal aid projects, Bridge 32 and 50, which would be Camp Shahola Bridge and the Bridge North here on Old 31, the Tippecanoe River. So we've scored those. We've picked out a consultant we want to do to run the project. So all that's done. That'll be starting in 2020, the work on those. The commissioners also discussed the county's community crossing grants, and Metzger told us about that as well. We're going to have some paving through downtown Lighters Ford and Wabash Road. That'll be starting here very shortly. So uh, people in those areas expect to maybe some delays, but it'll be very nice once they finish. Sure. And again, that was Fulton County Commissioner Steve Metzger. In economic news, the price of gasoline has stabilized a little since the holiday weekend. And petroleum analyst Patrick DeHaan says that's because our sanctions on Iran haven't had a major impact yet. It turns out that at least so far, the impact has been relatively small. I would say, sure, a few cents a gallon, maybe 2 or $3 a barrel. The bigger impact could come in the days ahead because it's not really a big deal. The, the U.S. doesn't receive oil from Iran, so to sanction Iran is not necessarily a problem because crude oil can still flow out of Iran. Dahan says that what the rest of the world does will tell the tale. If our partners, China, Germany, France, say if the EU and other countries in Asia follow our sanctions, then that could really stifle the flow of oil out of Iran, effectively cutting supply off from the global market. And again, that was petroleum analyst Patrick DeHaan of GasBuddy.com. An update on a story that we covered earlier. One of the two suspects wanted in a Miami County murder investigation was arrested in California, but the other one is still on the run. Indiana State Police say 21-year-old Ethan Kane was taken into custody Monday morning when the Imperial County Sheriff's Department SWAT team raided a campground to arrest Kane and the other suspect, Joshua Keene. Keene escaped and is considered armed and dangerous. Kane is facing a murder charge while Keene is wanted on charges of assisting a criminal. Both Keene and Kane were also wanted on charges of obstruction of justice and theft. Police believe that Kane and Keene were involved in the death of 22-year-old Drake Allen Smith of Summitville. Smith's body was found by mushroom hunters May 19th near the area of State Road 124 in Miami County Road 510 East. An autopsy showed that he was murdered. Keene is a white man who is 6 foot tall and weighs about 250 pounds. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. Police advise you not to approach him if you see him and to call law enforcement immediately. The City of Rochester Board of Park Commissioners will meet in special session on Monday, June 4th at 5 p.m. to discuss the 2019 budget, and their regular June meeting has changed from June 11th to June 4th at 6.30 p.m. in the City Building Complex, 320 Main Street in Rochester. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. Rochester Greenhouse prides themselves in providing you with excellent customer service for all your flower needs. Planning a wedding? Call them at 574-223-3146 for a free consultation. They specialize in flowers and gifts for every occasion. Right next door, Brooch Boutique is proud to present all the fashion looks that will dazzle all summer long. They offer women's sizes small to plus with new arrivals every day. 
Gift certificates are available in both stores. That's Rochester Greenhouse and Brooch Boutique, 412 West 11th Street, right off the Main Street. Two stores, twice the shopping fun. Ulrich Heating and Cooling Rochester offers expert sales and service in northern Indiana. Call 574-223-6307 for all your heating and cooling needs. They service all brands and all types of heating and cooling systems. For new heating and cooling products, Ulrich Heating and Cooling is proud to announce they now offer Armstrong Air, designed to deliver substantial durability, comfort, and energy efficiency. Armstrong Air is the professional's choice. Licensed, insured, and bonded, that's Ulrich Heating and Cooling, locally owned and operated for over 34 years. And again, we are at 73 degrees under cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. Winnemac is sitting at 72, and Culver hasn't been touched by the rain yet or the temperature difference and is sitting at 86. Showers and possibly a thunderstorm are possible the rest of the afternoon. We see a southeast wind around 15 miles an hour and some wind gusts up around 25 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and possibly a thunderstorm, a low around 71. Tomorrow, chance of showers, a high near 91. Could see some wind gusts up around 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms and a low around 69. On Friday, a chance of showers before 2 p.m., then becoming partly sunny, a high near 81, a low around 58. Saturday, we dry out and see mostly sunny skies, a high near 79, a low around 59. And then on Sunday, it'll be mostly sunny with a high near 78 and a low around 59. Again, Culver is at 86. Winnemac is at 72. We are at 73 here in downtown Rochester. This has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. News today was brought to you by Rochester Greenhouse, corner of 11th and Fulton Streets. They are your full-service hometown florist. And by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Find out how you can save on your fuel bills with the latest in heating and cooling products. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.